Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to adjustment layers inside of Photoshop. So we're going to be going over the hue and saturation adjustment layer and the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Now I'm just going to be going over the two for today because I don't want to overcomplicate you. We have got loads of different adjustment layers that we have available to us, but I'm just going to be going over two and then we're going to be going over the rest as we go through the rest of the series. Now you've got a couple of different ways of using these adjustment layers. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to talk to you about what they are and what they can do. So an adjustment layer is simply a layer that you can add on top of your existing layers to adjust the look and the style of the content that you've got beneath it. So for example, if I wanted to, I could change the look of the background layer that I've got for the wood. So if I wanted to, I could use hue and saturation to add a slight tint to it. Or even with this car, I could use that hue and saturation to control the color of it as well, which is quite nice. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how you can do this. Now when it comes to adjustment layers, you've got two different ways that you can actually add these into your uh, scene. So first things first, you can go up to image, adjustments and add one in from here. Or alternatively, I think the easiest way to do it is to simply go over to your adjustments layer over here and then you've got a preview or not a preview, but a selection of adjustment layers to available to you. Like I said, the ones we're going to be using in, two, in today's video is going to be brightness and contrast and hue and saturation. So let me, let me start off with the brightness and contrast. So I'm going to start off by selecting my wood background image and I'm going to show you that in full effect. So I'm going to click it and then it's going to sw swap straight to the properties panel. From here we get to change the brightness and contrast. Starting off with brightness, that's probably the most easy to understand uh, slider that we've got here. It pretty much controls how bright our scene is going to be or how bright that layer is going to be. So if I turn this down, it's going to make the background layer darker. If I turn it up, it's going to make it brighter. Now, I don't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to be too bright. So I'm going to try and find a nice happy medium in between. And I think that looks about right for me. So I'm going to add just plus 25 to, to this for now. Don't forget also, if you want to download this PSD with the car and the background image, you can download it in the download link in the description below and you can find everything you need. Next one is a little bit harder to explain and I'm going to try and explain it in the easiest way possible. Contrast is essentially the difference in colors. So that's pretty much going to be, so if I turn it down, there's not going to be too many colors in our scene. If I turn it up, it's going to make it a little bit more vibrant. Play around with it and you'll understand exactly what it is. It's just pretty much contrast between all the different, different colors. Um, try not to go too overkill with um, contrast. It's not the best way to add vibrance into your scene. If you are going to use it, only use it a little bit, but not too much. Um, so I'm going to leave this at plus 14 for now. And that's my background looking quite nice. So that's pretty much everything that I'm going to do with brightness and contrast. There's really not that much to it. So next I'm going to show you is I'm going to use the hue and saturation layer to actually change the color of the paint on this car that I've got here. So I'm going to select my car layer and then I'm going to go ahead and press hue and saturation. From here we've got all of these controls available to us to change the look and the style of things. Now what I want you to know is if you take a quick look in my layers panel in the bottom right hand corner you can see I've got my brightness and contrast only over the background and not over the car. So let me show you what happens if I put it over the car as well. You can see it then made the change to the car as well and we don't want that. So basically it's going to work like any other layer, make sure it's only above the content that you want it to be. Don't mix things up. So for me, I'm going to have my hue and saturation only over the car. At the moment it's over the car and the background. So I actually have to do something before I can start making these changes, otherwise it's going to do it to the whole scene which isn't what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this back to zero and then if you hold down the alt key and then click between the car layer and the hue and saturation layer, you then get this little arrow and it tells you it's now only going to apply it to that one specific layer and if you press alt again you can break that link um, but I'm going to make sure I've got that link on and it's joined up. So now if I go ahead and change my hue and saturation you can see it's only making that change to the car. So. First things first, in the hue and saturation adjustment layer, you've got your hue uh, slider. This pretty much allows you to change the hue, change the color of whatever you've got in there. Now, the blacks aren't really going to change because there's no color to them, but the paint is, which is quite nice. So let's say you want it to be orange, you can make it orange and make it fit in with the wood. If you wanted to, you could make it 
a nice little blue here and that that does look quite nice to me um it's entirely up to you you're pretty much just adding this color onto what's there already so if it's in the purple spectrum and it's not coming out purple like it is here don't worry about that it's just adding that color onto what's there already so for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this a so it was originally a red so i'm going to make it this nice blue here quite a nice light blue and it's just a matter of finding the right point on this little slider to get the look and the style that you're after so i'm happy with that now if you don't if you want it to be more blue so if you want it to be more vibrant blue you can just turn up the saturation and it will do that the saturation is pretty much how much color uh, that you've got in there and don't go overkill on this once again. It's similar to contrast, but this does control color, like the amount of color, whereas contrast was like the difference between colors. So saturation is just adding color and how vibrant it is. I'm not going to turn that up too much. If you turn it all the way down, it's going to make it quite gray. It's going to get rid of the color. If you turn it up, it's going to add more on it. So I do like quite a strong blue. So I'm going to turn this up and I'm going to leave this on around plus 40. And that looks quite nice to me. So the next one I'm going to take a look at is simply the lightness. Now this is similar to brightness like we had before, however this time it gives you full control. It can go all the way to black and all the way to white as opposed to in the brightness and the contrast one we couldn't go all the way to black. So let me show you. So if I turn this all the way down it's going to make it completely black or if I turn this all the way up it's going to make it completely white. Um, for me I'm pretty much happy with where it is now already so I'm just going to leave this at the zero value. And that looks quite good to me. So what we've done today is we've actually changed the color of a car, which is quite nice. I just wanted to show you guys just how important these adjustment layers are and what you can do with them. Now, bear in mind, there is so many more adjustment layers. We've got things like levels to look at, curves to look at, um, color balance and all of that stuff. We're going to be going over that later on in the series, but this is everything for today's video. Play around with some of the adjustment layers while you're waiting. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.